Take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. So Chelsea vs Brighton, 4-0 win, just what we needed. I just want to go through some points I wanted to cover over gun and players and just the general feel of Chelsea at the moment. So uh, starting with the formation, so we're back to 3-4-3. Conte's been favouring the 3-5-1-1 with Hazard behind Morata recently. Uh, it's worked a couple of times and a lot of fans were calling for it. Uh, I think it was after the Atletico Madrid game where um, Hazard put on a masterclass and it seemed to link up really well with Morata. But personally, I, I, I can see why he, he likes it in some games. But I just feel like when we're not on it and the system isn't flowing, the wing backs aren't uh, pushing up high enough or whatever, then we just become really narrow and flat and it's just Hazard and Morata isolated up top, don't create any chances and then we ended up just switching to 3-4-3 three, three in the second half anyway. So uh, yeah, really happy that we started with a 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, really helps uh, Batshuayi as well because obviously Morata wasn't starting so they're very different players. Morata's more technically gifted, so uh, when he is isolated, Morata can actually do something with the ball, whereas Batshuari is not really that type of player. So, uh, Baki Yoko starts again, and that was mainly because I think um, Drinkwater and Fabregas were injured. Baki Yoko's. I don't know. I, was, I, I like the idea of Baki Yoko, and I was really excited when he signed. I saw him a bit in Monaco. Uh, he looked like exactly what we needed, and. He just hasn't shown any promise. He just looks slow, lethargic. He just responds really slowly to everything. Lampard did an analysis of him recently, and it was just he just looks awful. He doesn't even shine against Norwich, who are a championship side. So, um, yeah, I was, I don't know, I was a bit worried that he was starting. But uh, obviously, we scored two quick goals. Um, William scored a really good goal. And Hazard scored a very good goal as well. Hazard's goal was just classic Hazard. Uh, he put the goalkeeper on the ground for like 20 yards out, slotted it in. Um, I think Bashuari fell over on the. Well, I think he was tripped actually, wasn't he? But um, yeah, it's a, it a very, very good goal from Hazard and it was a really great start and it ended up being a, an amazing Eden Hazard performance. Uh, William, he. Well, his goal was just the, the, even better. Um, really good team move. Bachelorari showed what he can offer from, from a link-up play point of view. Um, some really nice passes and a little back heel to Willian and a really good finish by Willian. Willian, I'm one of his biggest critics and he had a really, really good game. And it was a really, really good goal, so fair play. So 2 nil up and we seem to, I don't know, sort of regress a little bit. Some rocky defending, we could have given away a penalty and yeah, it was... Uh, just, it just shows that we're not, we're still not fully there. Even though we won four nil, it's uh, we still got issues that we need to resolve. Even with the likes of Christensen, just even his quality can't make up for the lack of cohesiveness. I think in the back sort of three or five. Um, so we, it's something Conte has to address because we have looked really rocky defending in the last few weeks and even months. I personally didn't think Bakayoko had a very good game. Uh, I've seen a, statistic, well, a list of statistics in that it looked really impressive. I think he picked it up in the second half, but I'm still watching him and I'm just thinking, as he is right now, he is not Chelsea quality. He's barely Premier League quality, so I don't know. He he played better than he has, but his his bar well for Premier League players is up here and Bakayoko is down here. So yeah, he he was okay. He was okay. Um, I'm hoping it's the beginning of him actually improving and and reaching his potential and becoming the player that we bought. Batshuayi, I really want to talk about him. Big fan of him. He's got something like. Uh, eight goals and nine starts this season. He usually contributes with an assist or a goal, both. Uh, it's just his overall play, which is is quite sore on the eye, and his, his actually output and productivity is really really good. Usually when he plays, he scores, but it's because of the way he plays that our whole team suffers, and this is why people and fans on Twitter, especially, are very critical of him because. Obviously, if we had a sort of best, better overall striker, we he well first of all that striker could have scored more goals, but also our whole team could have played better. Um, sometimes you get the give the ball to Bachelor and he just gives the ball away needlessly, which he has done against uh, Norwich and uh, which almost cost us a goal, and uh, he did a lot uh, yesterday as well. So 
he's got a lot to improve on. But yesterday was it was better. He was playing a three four. Uh, two one or three for three, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he actually had support from William Hazard. Um, he provided some good link and play for the goal. And he, is, the, what I like about Batshuayi is he's always looking to shoot. He's not scared to shoot. Uh, he reminds me a bit of Fernando Torres um, in his early career, where he was so desperate to score because he knew that he might not get another chance. He might be benched the next game. That's the kind of feeling I get. There's no patience. There's there's so much. There's too much urgency, and sometimes he just needs to slow it down a little bit. And he just needs to do the basics right. He needs to get back to making the right runs and just believe that the chances will come. He doesn't have to try and shoot every time he gets the ball. I personally think that he does deserve to start the next game. I don't think it's going to happen, but. Morata's been out of form. He's missing so many chances, which Bacharari would probably score. And I think with confidence, Bacharari will stop making these stupid mistakes. Like yesterday, he it's it's indefendable, really. Like he he's he had a few times where he just misplaced four or five yard passes. He's a professional footballer. Like it, it's it's not acceptable, and he needs to improve that side of his game. But. He got an assist and he looked decent. He looked he looked okay, whereas previously he's looked absolutely god awful. But I think it's just a confidence thing. I really do. I think if we get rid of him and go get Jekyll in or whatever, it will be a really big shame. Uh, I hope it's alone because I do think if he goes and he gets runner games elsewhere, as soon as his confidence is up, the talent's there. So he will probably be a sort of twenty five thirty goal season striker elsewhere, and uh, I really do believe that. I think he could end up just being another Lukaku, which we regret selling in a few years. Hazard and William were excellent. Um, I mean, Hazard is brilliant, but Williams, he's he's had a hit and miss season, really. But he was really good yesterday, so it's really nice to see, because we do need our right forward or right winger to perform. Pedro's been off the boil this season. Um, he's probably on the downward spiral, really, from his career, because he is, what, like 29, 30, whatever. I don't even know. I think he might even be 31. But... Yeah, we definitely need a replacement there anyway. Musonda comes on. Obviously, he's a very talented, very talented kid. And there's a lot of hype around him. And a bit of concern as well, because obviously he was, was talking about joining Arsenal a few months ago. But, yeah, he's uh, he comes on. He looked, he picked the ball up and I think he won a free kick straight away. But the pass he made for Moses' goal was unbelievable. It's something you'd expect from Cesc Fabregas. And for him to come on and do that with like 10 minutes and the pressure that comes with that, the fact that he might not um, get another chance for many, many, many weeks is amazing. And I really hope Conte takes note and, and actually gives him a chance because if Pedro's coming on or Williams coming on and they're not doing very well, just play Masonda. He's not going to be any worse and at least he's got a higher ceiling because those guys are at the back end of their careers. Otherwise, we're just going to lose him, and we're going to probably end up selling him for 10, 15 million, and he'll go on to be a, a 40, 50 million pound player because the talent's there. So it's really frustrating, but I just really hope Conte actually takes note of that and he doesn't just bin him off again for the next couple of months. And uh, last note, Ross Barkley, shame he didn't get on really. Um, I'm curious to see where he's going to play because I imagine he's going to play in centre mid, but with his talent, the fact that he's two footed, pacey, powerful. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he can do uh, a very good job as like a right forward. Or he can even be back up to Hazard. So, very curious to see where, where he plays. Unfortunately, he didn't get on. But yeah, it's, it's a lot more promising from Chelsea. The last few games have just been god-awful. Absolutely awful. And um, I really thought... I'm surprised... Well, in, in other seasons, Conte could have gone, really. But um, they haven't sacked him. He's still here. Still in the fight. And... Hopefully we're going to get a couple more signings in within the next couple of weeks.